So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade your iOS device. In this case, I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 to jailbreak your device. Now, this goes for any iOS software, whether if it's iOS 13, 14, 15. Now, first things first, you wanna see if Apple is still signing that firmware. Now, basically what I mean by that is, is Apple gonna allow you to go back to that um, previous iOS software? So now, whatever's in red, that means they un, it's not signed. So you can't downgrade back to that software. And like I said, this can go with iOS 13 or 14, whatever, etc. It's nine times out of ten, it's gonna be the same. Now, the one in green, these are the signed IPSWs or the signed firmware. So you can downgrade to um, if you if you have iOS 12.1.4. You can downgrade to iOS 12.1.3. But in this case, Apple is still signing to this day. They still sign in iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, as you guys can see. So iOS 12.1.1 B3 beta 3, everything is signed. So just make sure you check you getting into a signable firmware. Now, another thing too you'll need is a computer. I'm gonna be using my MacBook Pro. And of course, you will need iTunes to actually do this process. So um, the latest version of iTunes is recommended. Now I'm gonna throw this link in the description. It's gonna help you. You just select the firmware that you would like to downgrade to. So in my case, iOS 12.x. And then we're gonna look for iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. And then you just search your, your firmware. So in my case, beta 3 is right here. And once you find your firmware, you just select the link right here. You just click on it. Make sure it's the right. Okay, yeah, it's the right one. You click on it once and it automatically will start downloading. Now this is, it's a massive file, 3.3 gigabytes. Now once it's finished downloading, um, you know, put it in a safe place, launch up iTunes. Let's move this over here to the side. And then we're gonna connect our iDevice. Okay, make sure you verify any prompts, anything that comes up. Okay, so we're gonna tap on trust. iTunes, you should see an iPhone icon somewhere on the top, there it goes. So if you get this message here, welcome to your new iPhone, just start up as a new iPhone and then just get started. So I'm gonna hold the options key and I'm gonna click on update. Now on Windows is holding the shift key. And we're gonna find the IPSW. And we're gonna do it just like that. We're gonna click on update. Let I do iTunes perform its process. Okay, any prompts, like I said, you just follow the prompts on screen. So enter in your passcode. Now, once that process is completed, you can close your computer and just let your iPhone finish the process. And like I said, this goes for any OS, you know, it, for the most part, nine times out of 10 is exactly the same. It's gonna let you know update is complete, agree to terms and conditions. Now you are gonna get this prompt right here. This varies on the iOS version that you're on. Yeah, and that's how you downgrade iOS and then now, most importantly, on this video, you can jailbreak iOS 12.1.1. I did a, I made a jailbreak tutorial, so make sure you guys watch that. You just follow those steps and you're good to go. And guys, why not? Since we're here, I may as well show you guys how to jailbreak also. Um, obviously, you gotta make sure your firmware is jailbreakable. If not, then you can't do this method. And obviously this method is optional. Once you downgrade, you're all set. If you just wanna to get to normal iOS, this is it, it's just done. But these are for the uh, folks who want to jailbreak and um, you know have Cydia and install tweaks and stuff like that. But first things first, I'm gonna throw this link in the description. I'm gonna launch up my Safari and you gotta make sure you download this application right here. So it's totally safe, nothing to be worried about. And you're gonna tap on install again. And technically, I already have an application like this already, but just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to jailbreak your device on iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3. So um, before we open up the application, you gotta go into your settings, general, and you will need to go down into the profile and device management. And you wanna um, basically verify that certificate. I still have the Electra jailbreak, so 
um, I gotta delete that application and I'm gonna go back and then we're gonna launch up the application and as you guys can see this is the ignition application and we're gonna go into jailbreaks and then we're gonna look for the uncover jailbreak and of course there'll be some ads so just you know be prepared for that there's multiple uncover version you got to make sure you get the latest version okay so I guess this is the new beta it's kind of complicated okay so yeah iOS 12 dot yes yeah, so always re read the description I'm just flying through the video just so I can get it by but um yeah just make sure it's the right one so yeah this one's the right one it doesn't say unsupported now before we even tap on jailbreak we got to make sure the firmware there's no new firmware installed because that will break your device so we're gonna go into the settings general and then we're gonna go into the iPhone storage and we're gonna make sure there's no iOS version installed or downloaded I should say and look see iOS 12.1.4 installed we got to make sure we delete that update because that will hinder the jailbreak process once we do that make sure you turn off Siri I don't think this is an important thing but hey it's best to do it why not just turn it off temporarily and we gotta close out all the applications I don't know like I said just to you know improve the jailbreak process and then last but not least I'm gonna turn on airplane mode airplane mode is just gonna make things a little bit more smoother just the jailbreak process a little bit more smoother and then we're gonna go back into the uncover application and then we're gonna simply tap on jailbreak now it's gonna take a couple of tries I believe it's like three or four times in order for you to actually see Cydia on your screen um, but you guys know how these jailbreak um, apps work you know it's, it's never one time and done it's always like multiple tries until you get Cydia Okay, my device is booted up. Wait. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think my device was sleeping. But it's going to reboot now. It's so annoying to enter in your passcode every time. So annoying. That message is also annoying too. Okay, so there's no Cydia. And now we're going to have to do it again. No problem. I gotta turn off low power mode so the device doesn't sleep while it's exporting or exploiting. Okay, so this is for the bootstrap. We're gonna tap on OK. It's gonna restart your device. And then the next time when I click jailbreak, Cydia will be there. Tap on jailbreak yet again. And believe me, this should be the last time. Now, once you start seeing the spinning wheel there, that means you successfully jailbroke your device. When you start seeing the Apple logo, that means the jailbreak didn't, it wasn't jailbroken properly. So now I guarantee you Cydia will be there. Trust me, I know. Okay. And yep, there it is. So Cydia is there. Let's see if we can open it. I'm going to turn off airplane mode, turn it off. And then we're going to launch up Cydia. And Cydia is opened up and you are ready to install some tweaks. I am working on a big, big top 10 or top 20 maybe um, City of Tweaks you should install. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here, if you're interested. And yeah, now you are going to get some updates on the top. I'm pretty sure I saved all my sources from the last time. And yeah, there you guys have it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the Tweaks of the Week. It is coming very, very soon. But if you guys did find this video helpful, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on so you guys can be notified when I drop the um, Tweaks of the Week video. I make other videos too as well. So I try to make videos for everybody here. Here on this channel so yeah i appreciate it with a subscription and thank you guys so much for watching have a simple day and i'm out peace